Once you're logged into the site, you'll see your dashboard that looks something like this. It's going to vary depending on what size your screen is. If it's bigger, then it could look like this. It automatically adjusts to the size of your screen. So what we'll notice over here is your objectives for your account. You'll notice that I'm on a turtle account challenge and it's uh, MT5. You'll see the profit target here, the daily loss limit, your maximum loss limit, and the bar will come up. So if you've made some losses for the day, for example, the bar will move up and the profit will move up. Your total risk available is here and this is the open risk. So if you look at the open risk rule, that's what this relates to. Also, your Max risk per position is shown down here when you have positions that are open. Your account equity, your current account equity here, this updates every minute. It will show your account balance here, daily drawdown, your limit. You can see here that the daily drawdown limit is 195,000. The maximum drawdown can be down to 190. Over here, time until challenge ends. So as soon as you place your first trade, this timer will start ticking down. So instead of trying to figure out how long you've got left until the end, this will tell you up here. Down here you've got your main chart, you can see your profit target up here in the green, the current balance of the account, the daily drawdown, the maximum drawdown, just so you've got a visual there as well. Down here you've got some more interesting information based on your trading. Here you'll see the rules for this phase of the challenge, whichever type of challenge you're on. Your win rate and your loss rate will be here. Uh, now if you click on account history, this will show you all of your trades. Now, obviously, with this account, I haven't placed any trades. If we go over to profit share, when your account is in profit and at the point where you're eligible to withdraw your profits, you'll see the request withdrawal button will pop up and you'll be able to press that, enter your details and submit the request through to us. Please note that before you submit your first withdrawal request, you need to have sent us the KYC information. You would have received an email about this. There will be a link and it says go to the KYC page, enter your details, upload some documents. The link is at the bottom of the website for KYC and you would have received an email for it. Just simply enter your details here for proof of identification before we send your first payment. You'll be able to see the history of your withdrawals here and the amount that was paid out. Under the My Profile page, you'll be able to download the MT4 or MT5 platforms. You'll see any accounts that you've purchased down here. And lastly, down the bottom, you'll notice we have current time and rollover time. So the current time is what the current time is, Eastern Standard Time. And the rollover time is the time that the broker server rolls over and that's when we calculate the daily drawdown limit and the maximum drawdown. So make sure you're familiar with those rules. This timer here just makes it easier for you to understand when is the rollover time and you can manage your trades accordingly. Maybe you want to close them out before rollover or maybe you want to hold your trades. It's up to you. So that concludes our walkthrough. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments below.